What's up, Lore Masters? This is an addendum to my Voyager Lore Breakdown episode called Baby's Passing, The D and Snacks, and A Good Janeway. Check in the top right hand corner or in the description below so you can take a look at that before watching this. Several commenters have pointed out, and I'm kicking myself for not discussing it, that when it comes to the Vidians, Voyager actually had the ability to stop them from being, well, who they are. Janeway could have helped save them all, so let's break it down. The Vidians are a race of people who were like the Federation in that they had culture, art, were scientists, and even explorers. And then they contracted the phage which ravaged their bodies and society. The former explorers would begin to decay and would ultimately die unless they were able to find other species and suitable hosts to replace their organs. To the credit of their race, some do attempt to harvest from the dead only, but often that isn't a viable option. So they travel, scour sectors, and capture ships then harvest organs from the living. But here's the thing, they don't have to. Voyager could fix all of this. We know that the replicator has the ability to create synthetic organs that can be utilized. In TNG's ethics, they use genotronic replicators to do so, and it would appear that the technology advances so much that they can do it from most any species that they are familiar with. We see this in Voyager's phage. We know that several species on Voyager, including Klingon and human, are viable when it comes to the Vidians and even phage resistant. So why not give the replicator technology to the Vidians? It's not like Janeway doesn't do something similar in the future. Remember, she gives the Herogen holographic technology due to the fact that they had fought on Voyager to a stalemate, and she did it with a hope that it would calm the Herogen society's need to hunt. While there is an argument for this decision going badly due to the vents in flesh and blood, I'm not sure it's as black and white as some would like to think but that's a discussion for another time. So we know that replicator technology would help the Vidians and could fundamentally change their society and stop them from ravaging other species and ships. So now we have to discuss the ethical dilemma of providing this technology to them. Those of the Prime Directive Stripe will probably already be typing furiously as I speak. I simply don't think it's so clear cut. First, let's look at this pragmatically. You are telling me that if the Federation discovered the Vidians in the Alpha Quadrant and saw that they were ravaging Federation colonies, or hell, even if they weren't attacking colonies directly, that the Federation would not bring the full might of Starfleet Medical to assist the race? And that if they could not cure the phage themselves, that they wouldn't gladly provide them with technology to not only save the society, but prevent the Vidians from resorting to the destruction of other cultures? I cannot, in my wildest dreams, see Starfleet turning their back on the Vidians. If for no other reason that it would mean that if they did, they would have to go to war eventually and genocide all that is Vidian to safeguard their own people. And I really think that Starfleet of any era would willingly give up this tech in lieu of that. Although, I do think they honestly would do it out of humanitarian needs and not just to safeguard their own people. So that's the first reasoning. Second, a little thing called Regulation 3, Paragraph 12. In the event of imminent destruction, a Starfleet captain is authorized to preserve the lives of their crew by any justifiable means. I think you could argue that going into Vidian space would mean the ultimate and imminent destruction of the ship. Hell, we see it happen in Voyager's deadlock, so this one has them covered. If you want to say the Prime Directive supersedes this rule, due to the fact that it prohibits Starfleet from interfering in internal affairs of another species, even if it helps that species, let's take a look at what's been done historically. In the TOS episode, Return of the Archons, Spock points out that the actions they are about to take will violate the Prime Directive's non-interference policy. Kirk states that the Directive refers to a living, growing culture. It would be a stretch to say that the culture of the Vidians is growing. In the TOS episode, For the World is Hollow and I Have Touched the Sky, Spock again pointed out that Kirk may be in violation of the Prime Directive by stopping the destruction of a people. And Kirk again counters that these people having advancement in knowledge is preferable to the extermination of their race, which Spock says is logical. It may not be immediate, but you cannot tell me that the Vidian society won't rip itself from the inside out one day. And even if we agreed that it wouldn't, they will one day find a society that is more aggressive and will kill them all for who they are. It's not just the original series that does this either. In the next generation's pen pals, we learn that if a society asks for help, the Prime Directive can be set aside. In DS9's Hippocratic Oath, Bashir tries to cure the Jem'Hadar from their addiction to the white. And you know what? Even if I didn't have all this evidence, if I didn't have any justification for why or how the Prime Directive could be bent or broken, I still think they should do it. Why? Two reasons. Because helping these people from their nightmare and hellish life is simply the right thing to do. And lastly, because of a parable I was told a long time ago. 
There once was an old man doing his daily work along the beach one morning when he spotted a young boy by the water, scooping up something and throwing it into the sea. He walked over and asked the young boy what he was doing. The young boy looked up at the old man and said, I'm saving these stranded starfish. If they stay on the beach, they'll die. If they go back into the sea, they live. The man looked aghast and motioned to the beach. There are dozens, if not hundreds, of starfish that are stranded on this beach. You can't possibly help them all, so why even try? The boy picked up a starfish and threw it into the sea and then shrugged. Well, I helped that one because I could, and I'll continue to do it because I can. Voyagers should do it because they can, because they have the opportunity to save an entire species, possibly. Because it's the right thing to do, and it's something that they can do. But those are just my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below.